Hello everybody, I'm Grant Admi and welcome to Let's Play Imagine Earth. This is a early access game on Steam that just released a little while ago. No, we're going to be playing through this completely blind. I don't know what I'm doing. You don't know what you're doing. Should be interesting. Can you just give me a moment here while I get my timer started? It was off to the side of me. Alrighty, so... What is this? Well, this is supposedly a colony simulation industrialist type game here. The um, story is, is that, the, that in the mid to late 20th first century, big massive corporations finished exploiting the Earth's resources and started outsourcing things to space for profit, to gain profit margins and now we are out to uh, start colonizing we're going to go through to the campaign here and we're going to go to this world tuto I don't know how this works it looks like there are five planets maybe there's multiple missions on each planet hi grand enemy I'm Linda welcome to imagine earth limited your application test takes place on tuto uh, an idea like wow yeah yeah small paradise let's build up a grand colony with 7,000 700,000 people farms power plants and factories as our galaxy is dominated by vast corporations we have to make profits to keep the company competitive okay goals expand city center to level two build a second city center first five the thousand colonists harvest for is worth four thousand I'm guessing that's beakers then we can go normal easy hard we're just gonna go start and do normal hi grand enemy welcome on board we're approaching the planet Tuto this small untouched paradise is one of a million planets that has optimal living conditions and enough resources to build up a colony okay your job is to build up cities and supply buildings. May I introduce our global management interface? You may. Our interface gives a simplified visualization of the planet. This way we can focus on global decisions. Okay. Clicking the right mouse button closes. Okay. So you refined the coin. The coin. Collect it with the left mouse button. You need the money to pay for the construction of new buildings. We have a landing permit. Click on the landing capsule symbol and choose a nice landing site. Well, it looks like they want us to land there. Okay, so it looks like we have the city, the tiles are in triangles. Alright, we have a land. Uh, yeah. After landing, our capsule is expanding into the first city center of your new colony. Give me one moment. Let's increase my voice levels there. Alright. Your new colony. You can see the borders of your... Can you see the borders of the colony? Your buildings and city districts can only be built within this area. It can be expanded by upgrading the city center. Okay. Your tax income can only grow when food is provided to the cities. Okay. So... Farmland. Food! Um... Okay, build a farm. I uh, industrial farm has five high food output, which is conventionally grown. For all in soil increases its yield and ground pollution lowers it. Heavily close will cause an increase in ground pollution. Okay, let's throw that there then. With this button, you can recall last dialogues. That would be this one. Okay. Uh-oh. 
Those are our goals. I. Of course, the farm needs energy. Quickly provide a power plant to provide energy to your buildings. Power. Coal power. Okay, so I can do it there on the mountain. Hmm. Let's... Let's throw it there. Alright. The coal power plant works most effectively on fields with fossil resources, so that must be this. Okay. Look, with energy, food the food production is working. Awesome. Open up a factory. Well, without supply, all these consumer goods... That, this, this, well, without supply, with all these consumer goods, no settlers want to move to you, into your colony. Time to build a factory. Okay. That would be here. The factory produces goods which improve the quality of life. Okay, let's move this to, oh, I don't know. Let's throw it down here. And there's a telephone call. CS production and consumption is where is the grand and air pollution on the lower left. Okay. Basic needs. So, we have satisfied all the basic needs and now the colony is growing. Take a little cash bonus for your work. Okay. A wonderful small civilization, isn't it, Grand Enemy? Sure. I recommend expanding the city with additional city districts. This will increase tax revenue. Okay. May I introduce Dr. Two Stone. He is head of our research development department and your personal technology consultant. Oh dear. Build two city districts. So if I go here, repair, expand. Ah. City district. Let's go one there. And one there. Here we've got happiness. Not sure. So those each give us what? Fifty thousand? Yes. And this gives us and the each day center is hundred thousand. You've earned your first research license. Okay. You can use it to license new technology in, in the research interface. Click the research. So this. Okay. Look, Grand Enemy. In the research center, you can license new research results and technologies. These are already copyrighted and patented. That's why we, why you need to pay for a license, even for the most common thing. Of course. Well, it said... One of our goals was to get a large city. So let's do that. Back. It's time to ex expand our first city center. Okay, so three districts will allow us to expand the city. Do one there. So that's that would be what a hundred, or that would be two hundred fifty thousand, and then we can go here. Ah. Okay. 
delete those then, because I goofed. One there. Okay, this is what we do when we learn about the game. It's going to be a little bit of an unha unhappy one, because it has that there, but... Oh well. Now we can expand. Increase okay. Oh. Okay. The expansion is done. Additional construction land is opened up. Also, it's more living space. Awesome. Use industrial lumbering to harvest for it. Worth 40,000. I'm guessing that's credits. Okay. You have to research lumbering first. Which is right here. Go back. So, lumbering. Let's lumberjack that. What is this? Mission balance. Minus one food. Development funds. There are three new buildings available. Think about which you want to develop. Okay. So oh, that's our capital. Ah. Welcome to your development center. Here you can develop new new buildings in their ecologic and efficiency upgrades. Developing these technologies on a global scale will be affordable only with development funds. So here's our industrial farm, or we can develop a cattle farm. Hmm. The coal power plant, which will give us optimization or particle filters. Biomass. I'll do that then. Since that was supposedly the way they wanted it to be done. Oh, so forests regrow. Okay. Um. That place is pretty particular fert particularly for fertile okay then you can go there I'm gonna go whoa development fund at 300,000 people okay We don't have the industrial throughput now. Let's chop that. That should be enough to do that one. What's all of our goals here? First, 700,000 people. Okay. And then we need goods. So if I go here and go factory here.
Don't worry, we're getting there. More energy now? Ah, damn. You guys are needy, aren't you? Uh, here might be a good spot for a biomass power plant. So when these regrow... Well, that would be a really nice spot for that biomass power plant. Okay, so we got power, we got food, we've got goods. Okay. Bridge. Okay. So that's fossil fuels. This is fertile. a decent amount of people in here. It's 150,000 on the outside plus another 200,000 here. Can't upgrade. Two of three. So let's build another city district here then. Because that will give us the ability to upgrade and expand this one. So this gives us... This doesn't say... Th I should really say how much people you can have in the city. Or on, on the planet. See, that just upgraded to 100,000. Okay. That's our landing permission at 350,000. Development. Uh, okay. Energy efficient construction. And transit. Here's your seat bonus. Oh, let's go. Let's unlock. I don't know. Let's. Grab that. And then supposedly we can do, say, a cattle farm. Here. To increase our food, that means we're going to need another power plant. Let's go with another biomass plant here. don't get what this is. Another landing permit. Hmm. This looks like a good little area over here. So... That's where we are right now. That's our ice cap. There. Yep, there. Yeah, let's build another city center right in here. That will work.
Research. You unlock mining. General unlocks physics. The metropolis. Extinguish fire. And cleaning. Okay. Now open up. Ah, oh, good. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm actually going to go ahead and mine that out. Mine that one, because that's gold. There's more gold right there, but I can't re access it. I uh, need goods. And power. We'll start with the power, with the power plant here. I hear you, I hear you. Go, uh, factory. Right there. Power, okay. Um. Need another forest I can get rid of. That will work for now. There's a research point. Um, thinking. Yeah, we'll do that. One. Yes, I understand. I'm working on it. I'm thinking... I'm going to clear those rocks. Ah, uh, we're going to have to clear that forest. City district is there. And the city district is there. Doing a city district here. Here will allow me to expand that one. There. And doing an industrial farm here. Allow me to do food. And then a city district here. Upgrade you to level 2. So. You to level 2, like so. That should get me my 700,000 people. Losing out on power. I hear you. Hush. Oh, another biomass there. Okay. 
So those forests actually do regrow eventually. And I'm running out of goods again. Do that there. More power? Ooh. What a s- Alrighty. Uh oh, here comes the boss. Oh, there we are. Six percent global warming, thirteen percent environmental production, two thousand two hundred and thirty overproduction, economy of five hundred and eighty nine, sixty nine percent productivity, sixty three percent life quality. Okay. Very well. So, no, there's not this many people that play on my computer. But you're gonna bet I'm like bottom. Seventy fourth in the nation. Okay. And I don't have any friends that play this, so alright. Alrighty, so, this has been the first episode of Let's Play Imagine Earth. I've been Grant and you guys have been awesome. I'll see you all next time.